Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. I'm going to take a look at this Hot Wheels Trick Track set, Android Attack. This was a copyright 2010. Trick tracks were like dominoes where one stunt led to the next stunt, led to the next stunt. Ready-made stunts, every stunt triggers the next, and you can connect them all. This was part of the robot series of trick tracks. It was robots, then the year before that was dinosaurs, and then before that, it was just kind of regular stunts. On the back of the box, you can see they have a bunch of the robot trick track stunts connected together. This one is Android Attack. It's going to have that little stunt, which leads into the Android, the robot. Here's a look at some of the others. Bionic Battle. That was a bigger box set than the others. Here is Android Attack. That's in our hand right now. And Smash Road. This was a smaller stunt. Back to the front of the box, it says that there's a car included. It shows that car right here as well. That car looks just like Geronimo. And looking at the decorations, it looks like the same exact car. When I open it up, we'll see if it is, in fact, the same exact Geronimo. Three other Hot Wheels models appear on the box. I think I'm going to use those as well. The green model looks like Country Club Muscle. I found my CCM Country Club Muscle. Same decorations, except mine has a blue window, and the one in the picture has an orange window. The yellow model looks like Fast Fish. I don't have that same exact release, so I'm going to use this one right here. This one is Synchro. I don't have that same exact color. It was a regular car in 2009. You know, it's interesting. It shows Synchro being tossed over to here. But look at the spoiler on Synchro. It's flat like this. You can see it's perfectly straight. I couldn't find my exact copy, but I do have lots of synchros. I have this synchro in orange. Very nice decorations. Has a dragon on the side. But you see, look at this part of the spoiler. See how it has that bump right there? This is what I'm talking about. It's perfectly straight. This synchro, it has, that's how it's supposed to be. Here is a red synchro. It has that bump. Let's see, I have a yellow synchro. It has that bump. Purple has that bump. Blue has that bump. This one's pretty nice too. X Racers clear. By the way, uh, this spoiler, this part is a separate piece. That's why I see it's black and the body is blue. Again, black and blue. Uh, red body, black spoiler. Yellow body, black spoiler. Sorry. Orange body, orange spoiler. Well. This, this is a separate piece. You can tell it's plastic, a separate piece. Maybe you have this Track Builder 5-pack from a few years ago. That's some pretty cool Track Builder cars, or I should say cars to work on your Track Builder system. It also had Synchro. Well, if you notice, Synchro is green, just like the spoiler. It's all one piece now. It still has that, it's hard to see, but it does have that curve in the back of the spoiler. I still like Synchro, but Mattel, the five packs are made in Malaysia, right here, made in Malaysia. And so if you get a Synchro that was made in Malaysia, you might get the one piece body and spoiler. But uh, Synchro what did appear in Despicable Me, and this one, made in Thailand, right here, made in Thailand. So maybe depending on where your Synchro is made, you might get the one with the uh, separate spoiler piece. Uh, even though it's blue like the body, uh, you can tell that it's a separate piece. Well, let's see if Geronimo is the model that's actually included. Let's see. I started it a little bit. Save some time. Oh, car's right there. Sure enough, there's Geronimo. Uh, no special car for this set, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and check it out. It has the same wheels, too. Check out all the parts. Oh, this is the launcher. This is that small part that was shown in the beginning. Got a little brochure. Instructions. My robot don't want to come out. Hello? Hello? There's my robot. It's an Android, right? A little scary looking, don't you think? Oh man, look what I did. I tore it. Oh well, 
real quick, uh, man, these things are so small. It shows how you can connect them together and make different sets. Um, it basically combines all these, and then when it comes over here, it shows you all of the different sets. So on top, uh, radar rocket, cyborg blaster, shock ramp, and oh, slam bridge. I don't know if I have slam bridge. That's one side. It shows the green dude in the bottom right. On the back, they show a different dude, uh, pretty much the same sets. They just show different ways to lay them out. Let's get the legs connected to the base. I'm right in the holes there. You can see in the picture, the left hand is like a V-shape, and the one in the right hand is more flat. Let's see, get the arms picked up. Uh, I can see, I can see a D-shape uh, symbol. See how it's curved on this side? So I'm looking at the hands. So that means this side is curved on this side. And this way. Hey, stand up. Okay, bend over. That's how it works. This is the trigger right here. Your cars could come here and hit this trigger. Or, you see these green dots? You could push right here. Same thing, activate the trigger. Now the stunt isn't just the robot falling over. The robot has a launcher too. Remember I told you it was a chain reaction type thing? Well, this is not activated until you stand up the android, the robot. Now when you push this back, it stays in position. And then when you push this, now the android falls over and the launcher, watch the launcher. There you go, the launcher goes forward. The other part, same thing, it's a launcher. This is pretty cool, actually, because the this part here is connected. It, it makes it look like it's shoving your car forward. And last but not least, Trick tracks, these were pretty cool. Look, they had arrows in the track. So this way, you knew which way the path was for your car. When you made your layouts, you put things down. <laughs> this way, you know for sure, well, I intend on going this way and then that way. And then when you're coming back this way, you knew exactly how to make your layout. So you get two launcher stunts, two pieces of track, two connectors, and one car. And in the baggie, you get two rubber bands, which are spares for the launchers. The connectors only have one post. They're short, like track builder connectors, except track builder connectors have two posts, and trick tracks just had the one. This way the connector is locked into one piece of track. You can always stick another piece on the other end. It's just not locked in. And as you can see, they work with track builder track and all other Hot Wheels track. Those two pieces of track will do fine, but I might have some extras from the other reviews that I have done. Another fantastic design was that you can angle the tracks in many positions. Here we go. Let's load it up. By the way, I have extra colors of Geronimo to use as well. Let me select a color of Fast Fish to use. This time I'll call them the right color. We'll use the purple one. Don't forget I have Fast Fish and CCM Muscle to use as well. Let's go ahead and start it off with Fast Fish. That was pretty fast because I only have two stunts and I'm not using a lot of track. Let's go ahead and make the stretches longer. Let me use this white version of Geronimo this time. And for the Android, we'll use the blue version of Synchro. It's time for CCM Country Club Muscle to start the stunt. That worked well again. Let's make the layout bigger. One thing that you have to remember you can't reset this if you have a car under the trigger because this is still being pushed up by that car. You see, it won't go, but let's go ahead and back up. CCM Country Club Muscle, you see how that dropped? Now, you could push this in to engage, and now it's time for the orange version of Geronimo. Not only am I gonna add some more track, I decided to add some curves too, so this way I have a U-turn to bring it right back to the Android. 
Hmm, what color synchro should I use this time? I think I'm going to use yellow, just like the Android. We're going to use Fast Fish again to trigger the stunt. Sit. Go. Uh-oh, it looked like he popped up out of the launcher. Let's go ahead and reset. Set, go. Oh, too far. Let's take away one piece of track. Set, go. Set, go. What do you mean I'm not doing it right? Patience, my friend, I'm getting there. Now these right here, you can elevate up. Now I'm gonna put some cars in there. Since I had a lot of synchros for the demonstration, I'm gonna put two synchros up here in the claws, or whatever you wanna call these. Plus, I made the layout bigger. I added two samples of Speed Hill. I like Speed Hill because you can make bridges. It helps you expand your layout. And I went ahead and added Rockin' Rampage. Let's load them up. I will use this synchro for the grand finale. Are you ready? I think everything's in place. We're checking. Got cars in each spot. On your marks. Get set. Go. 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 Successful. Fantastic. There you go. Android attack. I have a couple more sets ready to go. Which one do you think I should do? Shock ramp or hammering hoop? Let me know. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.